Hi guys, Will Neano here. Listen, I know many of you know I'm good with videos, but the things that I'm really good at is fixing computers, especially Apple computers. And, and uh, I was driving in the neighborhood and I found this, somebody tore this computer in the garbage. It's a 2008, late 2008, uh, iMac 20 inch. And uh, I decided to stop, get out of my car, pick it up, put it in my trunk, came here, turn it on, looked like the hard drive was bad. Uh, so what I'm about to do, I'm going to take it apart. I'm gonna show you how to do it. But not only I fixed it, but I put the latest operating system that it's not supposed to run in it, which is Catalina. Catalina is Apple's latest cat, uh, operating system. They just came out with it this month, 2019, October 2019. And you're gonna see this computer run in Catalina and it's gonna be very fast because I'm replacing that old mechanical hard drive with a digital drive, SSD drive. It's not a big drive, it's like a 250 gig because this was something I'm probably gonna use. I'm probably gonna sell it on eBay maybe for about 250 bucks. Uh, but I just wanted to show you what I did and show you maybe if you find one in the garbage and you decide to fix it yourself, what you would have to do. Because these computers, they're good. They're very good. And uh, if you're able to put Catalina, it's like they cost a lot of money. Okay, my wife have the uh, a new one. It costs 2,500 bucks. Uh, but hers is a 27 inch. I also have a couple of 27 inch uh, i7, but I'm gonna show you how to change the hard drive. Okay. Okay. It's always good to have a little tool set to work with. But for this operation, here are the tools you're going to need. You need a Phillips screwdriver, and you need a T7 and a T6 head and a suction cup and a video cable HDMI monitor, the one for this Apple. It looked like this. This is your HDMI. And this one here, connect to the back of this computer. You will need it to test this computer when it's open and the LCD screen is not in the computer. So as you could see, you plug this and then you use a HDMI cable and you plug it to an external monitor and then you could boot up the computer while this one, this screen here is not working or is off this computer. Very important. Thank you. I Velcro the hard drive in here. So if you're not, you see where the monitor is connected? This is the monitor. You see. Okay, you want to remove this screw here with a Phillips screwdriver first. And this is the rim cover. Once you unscrew it, and this is where your rim is located. So if you ever decide to put no rims, there's these little black things here. You just pull them out and then your rim come out. Those black tab, you just pull them and, and then rim one, rim two come out. So you could put two, four, Make it eight rim, four and four, eight. Right now is one and one is two. The front is a glass cover with a metal around it and hold by magnets. You use the suction cup to pull it out. Or you could even use the plunger in your toilet. I've done that before to remove the glass. Okay, put it aside. Try not to touch the screen, the black area you're looking at. You put the glass in a safe place and now get your T7 and start removing those thin screws around it. 
Once that is done, then you'll be able to pull that silver cover off and then now you'll be able to remove the LC. Very important. T7. We're gonna remove all the screws necessary to take this apart. Okay. Silver cover off. The very first thing you need to remove from here is over here. You want to remove the first wire. So basically, you just pull it out. And this is part of the monitor. Very important. Then the next one is going to be on the very top, the camera the, wire. And sometimes when you pull the top, it just come out with it. This time you remove the T7 and you put the T6, very small screwdriver, and then you remove those two screws over here on this cable and then you pull it. Because this is also part of the LCD. As you could see, there's two screws, you remove them and then you hold them to that black tab, you pull it out, and now this is disconnected. Your next thing is going to be locate the CD worm on the right side of the computer. Then there's two two cables that are connected to the LCD on both sides of the DVD player. Okay, you unplug them. It's four different cable. Now remove the LCD. This is the old hard drive. I removed it. And now I replace it with this. It's a SSD digital drive. Okay, now I just finished putting the hard drive in there. Okay, with the hard drive, I velcro the hard drive in here. Because the other with my hard drive connected, I plug in the HDMI cable, and now I'm about to test the computer using a different external monitor. Uh, and um, you see it running. As you could see, I already fixed it. Okay, it's not supposed to be running Catalina. Alexa, turn the light on. Okay. Right, now let me turn it on. There it is. So, as you'll see that it's it's not slow, and it's running Catalina, the 2019 operating system. This is the uh, latest, and Apple probably going to be very mad at me for that. Because they don't want computer, they want the computers like this one in the garbage. They don't want people to use them. So you cannot be going around and, and, and using Catalina here. That's a no no. But there it is, late 2008, and it's doing it. And it's only uh, only with 2 gig RAM. I didn't even put 4 gig on it. Okay? And as you could see, there it is. Since the keyboard is not connected for me to log in, but I'll show you the computer running later on. Okay, and uh, you could subscribe to my channel. And hey, listen, I accept donation. So if you want to give me a little donation for, for putting some money in your pocket, you could always uh, go to Will Multimedia at AOL.com, PayPal. Whatever you give, I'll take it. I don't have no problem with that. All right, brother. Insist. Now, I just finished reassemble the computer, put everything in place. Computer is working fine. Operating system, Catalina is doing very well. Uh, voice, microphone, camera, everything is working. So the computer is in very good shape and I'm very satisfied, mission accomplished. The good thing about these computers The good thing about these com 
computer is that it's it take a very small footprint and it boot up real fast with two gig as you could see right now I don't think that much but you also have a built-in camera you have a built-in mic you see those people who do those uh, live videos online using their cell phone and the video don't come out too good because they don't have they, they didn't the, the video the phone is not stable the phone is not stable so what happened is the video come out very crappy because the thing keeps shaking and in addition the video is totally vertical so it only take uh, the middle of the screen where with this one when you do a live video okay when you do a live with this computer the video take the full screen it's not just a little vertical in addition to that you could buy these computers on eBay or Amazon for as little as like I see them for 35 bucks okay and they have the same problem that I fix or even even better and um, the other thing is they take a very small footprint as you could see like if you have a cell phone most cell phone like if you have an Apple or they cost a minimum like 350 400 some of them go as high as a thousand dollars these computers for 60 bucks 80 even in the garbage you can beat that so therefore what I did I decided to buy them and fix them and put them on my site like I'm gonna be selling them on eBay and Amazon with this operating system in them or do you know this is it's a good opportunity for most people um, not only okay you don't just have um, an addition you could plug a second camera which later I will make a video teaching people how to do live streaming using more than one camera or you could use your phone as a second camera so you could be sitting in front of it doing your live streaming in addition you could have a second camera watching you just like you see that other camera here and this video watching or a third one using the right software so this is totally a win-win situation in fixing the video basically all you have to do is move it now if you look at the difference the footprint is so small here okay this is almost like the size of a phone and this is the footprint so this is not even the size of my hand the area that this computer take when sitting on your desk let me show you the profile okay so this is a very small footprint and you got your DVD player right here you can't go wrong with it and you could actually get the same computer in 27 inch uh, which is even better okay so this is not a bad investment as I, this is the point that I was trying to make so instead of buying a this is a core 2 dual uh, these computers back in the days they cost it was about 1200 bucks and now you could buy them for like the, I even see one in Walmart for 260 dollars with warranty and everything how can you go wrong with that 